Welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagus Show. I am Lopagus here with One Bar, and it is day one of legal tampering. It has been damn exciting. It is. We're going to have a full Vikings recap later today. We're still going to give it some time. Some stuff could happen. So in the meantime, we're gonna, there's some players cut by other teams today that the Vikings could have some interest in. Definitely have a lot of interest in these players. I appreciate you looking at your watch to let us know how much time was available. I didn't, I didn't understand it until you did that. So thank you for that. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the vids. It's still time to drop hashtag 6,000. We did it. The giveaway has not yet happened. And also we haven't done our Patreon video, our Patreon um, giveaway yet either for February. So uh, it's too late to do, uh, to sign on for that, but uh, do it for March. Sign up for the Patreon. Do it. Sign up for our Patreon. Tons of benefits. Let's talk about it, though. There's three in particular, three guys that got their walking papers today that I would welcome with open yeah. arms. And let's start with the first one. He actually didn't pass a physical, so that's definitely number one concern. But it's Billy Turner from the Green Bay Packers. This guy's played everywhere on the O-line. North Dakota State boys. You know he's going to be a, a you know a fan favorite at one bar and love a show with Ellis Greger. Uh, oh, he's from Minnesota, too. Pimping this guy. So a guy I know you've wanted since day one. Billy Turner was one of your boys. You wanted Dakota Dozier and Billy Turner that year. I did. I did. I think Billy Turner's from Minnesota. Let me know in the comments. But definitely definitely close. Yeah, yeah Shoreview, Minnesota. All right. Yes, Billy Turner. I mean, Packers fans are probably like, oh, laughing. Oh, they want Billy Turner. Oh, well, well, you know what? Our offensive line could use an upgrade. He played all of right tackle last year for the Packers. But uh, through his career, he's been mostly at right guard. Guess what? We need a right guard. Billy Turner, 30 years old, probably isn't going to cost a ton. And uh, maybe he's a little buffer there until we see what we got in Wyatt Davis. Yeah, obviously, you give us some time. Let him pass that physical. Whatever you got to do, get a doctor in there that, you know, can lie. Whatever you got to do. But um, if you don't do anything right away, as far as right guard goes, Billy Turner is an option the Vikings definitely need to take a look at. One that's got my juices flowing. And another guy I think makes sense for the Vikings, a guy who I don't think is going to cost a shit ton of money, uh, released today by the Carolina Panthers is cornerback AJ Bouye. Yeah, he shouldn't cost a ton of money. He's uh, he's getting into the elder years for cornerback, but this is this is just a guy that'd be like kind of a one year rental. Um, looking at his last couple of years, haven't been overly fantastic. Uh, he was used to. He, I mean, back in 2017, 2018, he was he was one of the top corners out there. But uh, play has definitely dropped off. Depth piece, veteran. Why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, the Vikings still have to create some cap room. They haven't done it yet. So who knows how much they're actually going to have to work with. We don't know what eight their bucks. spending budget's going to be. And if you do have an $8 budget, A.J. Bouye is somebody you can bring in. Get that veteran corner. You know, as sad as it is, he'd probably start here from day one, the way this uh, depth chart's oh, looking geez. right now. So uh, it is. Yeah, he's, he's, he started seven games last yeah. year for, for Carolina. And this is all depends on, like, Patrick Peterson. I mean, if we bring Peterson back, we probably don't want another one. But if if we, we need it, we need an elderly man back there to show the ropes because we're definitely drafting a guy early in the draft. We need the uh, Alec Baldwin to the fleet that stormed the Pearl Harbor shores. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We got one more. Who is it? This is the one that this is the whole reason for doing this video. This is the guy that I want. Uh, I hate playing against him because he's a cocky son of a bitch. But man, if you had him on your team and when we got Mike Smith over here to be linebacker coach, he tweeted big old eyes. Uh, so I think there's some interest in Darius Smith. He would look damn good in purple. He would. I mean, 2019, 13 and a half sacks for the Packers. 2020, 12 and a half sacks. Uh, and, and last year he was hurt, but um, still 29 years old. Seems like he should be like 47. Yeah, but you got you got Mike Smith, Mike Pettin here. And you know how, how sweet would it be to have this guy on your team knowing oh. every time you play the Packers, he's going to go 200% trying to make them look bad, coming after Rodgers. You know damn well he's going to be trying to eat Rodgers' nuts every single snap, <laughs> and I would love to see it. Get Zadarius Smith here. Forget everybody else. Get Zadarius here. We it, pitch in that 3-4, hot shit, go after the quarterback every play, get after him. Zadarius Smith, I'm a little worried that there could be a Baltimore reunion there. That's It's got me a little scared, but Zadarius Smith, easily the top one here, but he's yeah. also going to be – he's still worth a lot of money. Make it work. Whatever you got to do, make it work. Get Sidarius home. Work, work. Him on one side, Daniel Hunter on the other side. If you're a quarterback, you're wearing a diaper because you have tons and tons of shit in your pants. Well, Sidarius here won't be saying skull anymore. We'll be saying skull. That's with a Z. Skull with a Z. All right. Well, we're going to end the video. <laughs> 
We're going to go ahead and end that right there. Uh, let us know if there's anybody else who was released today that tickles your fancy that you want to bring here. I'll be crazy for mentioning these guys or not. And do not forget, we will be back later with a day one full recap. Hopefully, yeah, keep looking at that watch. Hopefully, there's a little more Vikings news that we can talk about. But uh, until then, guys, remember this. Chickens, those damn feathered friends of ours, are 75% water. <laughs>